What is IEM? IEM Education Project is an international collaboration which promoting emergency medicine and providing free educational resources for medical students and their educators. When and how IEM started? IEM Education Project was started as an e-textbook initiative for medical students in 2015 and announced in June 2018 as its current shape. What is the content of IEM? IEM content was mainly produced according to International Federation for Emergency Medicine and Society for Academic Emergency Medicine recommendations. The content can be found in our free ebook, which published in 2018, and also our website. We provided 106 chapters in this resource, including 454 images and videos. Besides providing emergency medicine-related chapters for medical students, what other resources IEM offers? Besides online chapters and ebook, uh, IEM offers free resources such as a clinical image archive located in Flickr, video archive in YouTube, and chapter audios or podcasts in SoundCloud. So these resources are free to use for educational purposes. In addition to clinical topics provided in these resources, there are motivational social interviews with world-renowned leaders of emergency medicine. We also regularly publish new articles written by our international blog authors. Who are the contributors? Our contributors are from every level. Medical students, residents, general practitioners, attending emergency physicians, and emergency medicine faculty members. The first version of the 2018 ebook has 133 others from 19 countries. Because the project is growing day by day, currently we have 168 contributors from 25 countries. Nearly 30 of these contributors are blog others from 12 different countries. Is there any particular group and contributors? All contributors are very special to us because of their invaluable efforts to help medical students around the globe. This project showed us how the international emergency medicine community could collaborate and produce something meaningful for medical students and their educators, especially those who have limited resources. I think co-editors of 2018 ebook, Litsin Quek from Singapore, Abdel Nur Eldim from USA, and Elif Tilek Chakal from the Turkey, uh, should be acknowledged. However, if we need to mention a particular group in this project, I think we have to highlight the effort given by the Slovenia team, which included many medical students from the University of Maribor and led by Dr. Gregor Prozen, who is one of the young leaders of emergency medicine in Europe. The words cannot be enough to say how much we appreciated their effort. Furthermore, we were so happy to see high-quality chapters written by well-educated, talented, enthusiastic medical students under the supervision of their mentors. Besides, this contribution showed us that if we can guide our students efficiently, they can easily be a part of an international project and make a difference even in their early careers. Therefore, in 2021 update, we are looking forward to enrolling more medical students, resident as an other with their mentors, I think we should continue to support and encourage our students and residents to be involved in this type of scholar activities. In addition to our young and talented contributors, world-renowned emergency medicine experts such as Joe Lex, Ashley Bean, Jim Holliman, Jan Steele, Rob Rogers, Judith Tintinelli, Simon Carley, Neil Cunningham, Tash Hassan, Melanie Stender, and many others contributed to IEM Education Project. Who are the main supporters of IEM? There are a couple major supporters of this project. First of all, without support of United Arab Emirates University College of Medicine and Health Sciences, the IEM project and platform couldn't be alive. So we are encouraged by institutional support to start this international project. Reaching to a wide range of emergency medicine professionals around the world was augmented with the help of the ASAP International Section, Council of Emergency Medicine Residency Directors and International Federation for Emergency Medicine. Official endorsement of the International Federation for Emergency Medicine in 2018 helped the project widen its horizon and also gave additional responsibility. The first international university officially recommended our platform to their students was University of Monterey from Mexico. 
Currently, European society, African society, Asian society for emergency medicine, and Latin American Federation for emergency medicine endorsed the IEM education project. And we are looking forward to collaborating with them to improve undergraduate emergency medicine education worldwide. Who are the users? The project mainly aims to promote emergency medicine and provide free reusable educational content for medical students and their educators. Although the project focuses mainly on the undergraduate curriculum, learners from all levels, such as interns, junior residents, may benefit from our resources. Platform targets at all learners around the globe, and currently resources reach to 195 countries. However, learners from areas with limited resources have a special place in mind. What are the future tasks of IEM? The primary short-term task for the IEM Education Project is updating its Emergency Medicine Clerkship eBook. This update will include the topic recommendations of the International Federation for Emergency Medicine updated curriculum. We are expecting to start updating process in mid-2020 and completing the task in the early months of 2021. So if you are interested to be a part of this global initiative, please visit the website and contact us by filling the contribution interest form. We are also looking for the university partners to produce free, massive, open, online emergency medicine course for medical students. We are expecting to start this task in 2021. And finally, we will soon be working on an emergency medicine question bank for medical students, and we hope to open this resource to viewers in 2020. Who can be part of IEM? IEM doesn't belong to any particular group. Our doors are open to every medical student, resident, general practitioner, attending physician, or faculty member around the world who are carrying a passion for emergency medicine and willing to share their experience, story, wisdom with the medical students around the world. Is IEM active in social media? Yes, we use social media for educational purposes. We actively use Twitter to announce our posts, chapters, clinical image, or videos. We also use Facebook, LinkedIn, Reddit, Instagram, to advertise our resources and activities. What is your final message for viewers? Honestly, we couldn't imagine reaching users from 195 countries when we started this project. We have a lot to do in order to improve undergraduate emergency medicine education around the globe and to produce free emergency medicine educational resources. Therefore, we are looking forward to collaborating with you all in the near future. And finally, we thank all our supporters and contributors for their invaluable help to keep this project and platform alive.